it, we can't chew it up either. So the exact same reason for why they put the trans fats in the food is exactly why you shouldn't eat the food. Now we know that and they've come out of our diet. So now sugar is public enemy number one. So what does sugar do? And the answer is a whole bunch of bad things. The food industry says sugar is energy. Well, they're correct if you're a bomb calorimeter. If you just blow it up, if you explode it, yeah, you get four calories per gram. But we are not bomb calorimeters. Turns out that sugar actually poisons the mitochondria. Okay, it poisons it in at three separate enzymes that are necessary for mitochondria to do their job. The first one, AMP kinase, which is the fuel gauge on the liver cell. The second one, ACADL, acyl-CoA dehydrogenase long chain, which is necessary to get fatty acids into the mitochondria to be able to oxidize them to create energy. And the third one is CPT1, carnitine palmitoyl transferase 1, which is the um, enzyme that regenerates carnitine, which is the shuttle mechanism that brings the fatty acids into the mitochondria in the first place. In other words, when you consume sugar, you are poisoning your mitochondria. You are generating less of the chemical energy that our cells get powered by called ATP. So if you're making less ATP, is that energy? It's the opposite of energy. So when you consume sugar, you are actually inhibiting your body's energy production. Can you think of a chemical that inhibits your mitochondria and reduces ATP production? Cyanide. 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 Cyanide does that. Okay, sugar and cyanide do the same thing. Now, obviously, not as severely, okay? You know, cyanide parts per million keel over and die on the spot. With sugar, you know, it's in the parts per thousand and you don't keel over on the spot, but you feel lousy. And over time, it's gonna take its toll. But ultimately, if you're inhibiting your mitochondria, you are poisoning your body. And we now have the data to show how that occurs. So here's my question to you and your audience. Sugar is in virtually all ultra processed foods and ultra processed foods are now 56% of the UK diet and the uh, amount of sugar that Brits eat, 62% of it is found in the ultra processed food category. So my question to you and your audience is, is ultra processed food, food? My view is that it's not really. I, w I would say no, but I know to many people that is super controversial, um, which we're definitely gonna talk about. But yeah, on a straight answer, I would say no. Depends on your definition, I guess, because it's energy. Okay. 